below sea level, um, I think this, this affects the consciousness profoundly. It's kind of submarine consciousness, I think. No. Jory. Take the girls to their rooms. If it must be done. Bring me his head. <laughs> that I got obsessed with was one of these like, telecast, Fender telecaster. So I went in the shop and said, look, if I can give me a little book and I'll come pay you every week whatever I can, which I used to do on a Saturday, pay them some money, and they would give me the guitar for half an hour and let me play it, and then I would have to give it back. And so I persuaded my girlfriend to secretly, <laughs> don't tell her mum and dad, but to secretly draw the money out of her post office savings to pay it off, which she did. Yeah. I, I never paid her back. I, I did marry her, though. Yeah. Now, you get a flame, it's at night time, and I pick her in on, underneath the clouds. You know. Very Miltonic. Yet from those flames, no light, but rather darkness visible, served only to discover sights of woe. This is the last years of the 60s. Revolution. This is LSD. <laughs> when I eventually tried it, it was. Uh... Beyond anything, beyond anything I'd ever imagined or been told. Would you stand up? <laughs> this whole debate so far seems to me uh, to be taking the shape that people are considering economic interests, they're considering fire risks and things like this, as though the refinery is coming whether we want it or not. We're not rich people, we're not millionaires, so you can stick it on our doorstep, you won't stick it on anyone else's. What That's the that economics burn? behind citing it here, because we don't care. Yeah. Yeah. We were just empowered by what we did. I still feel it now when I, when I play now. I've got all the energy in the world for it. Wilco would just seem to look into the eyes of every single person in the audience and almost hypnotise them. A lot of the time, I'm, actually, I'm just gazing into the middle distance. I don't actually see anybody. But if you gaze into the middle distance, everybody thinks you've looked at it. There's a little trick I learned when I was a school teacher. Just go like that. They all think you're looking at them, but you're not. When I was leaving, I was saying to them, I'm going to be in a rock and roll band. I said, I'll be back. I'll be back in a golden Cadillac, full of paintings. And then you'll be sorry. Well, the one bit of artwork that I did was the actually the Dr. Feelgood logo, which even now, people have actually got tattooed on them. So, a little bit of an achievement. What a rogue and peasant slave am I. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I wasted my life, but probably not. Well, I'm a heart for you, baby. I can't get enough of your love.